Hi there everybody! Today on Indian Story Read Along, we're going to look at a new book from my bookshelf. And this is called Tales Told by Sri Ramakrishna and it's by Amar Chitra Kata. It's a bumper issue and there are several stories in here. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, you could say, as I'm going to show you this cover, he was a modern day saint. He lived in the 1800s in Bengal and he and his wife, Sri Sharadamba, they had a lot of disciples. So they taught their student their students and they also told them stories and these stories were to kind of illustrate the lessons that they were trying to teach them so let's look at a funny story today hold on just a second and here it is this is called the acetic and his loincloth a loincloth is like a olden days underwear. So you see these two sannyasis, these two, you can call them hermits or recluses, they would sit there and do tapas, penance, all day long. And they would be sitting there, the only possession they were to have was their loincloth. And that was just for modesty's sake. And so they would have one that they would wear and then they would be washing the other one and hanging it up to dry. That's a very important part of our story. So let's take a look. The Aztec and his loincloth. In a forest near a village, there lived a guru and his disciple who spent all their time in prayer and meditation. And you, so you see them near that hut over there. Then one day, Guru says to his student, My son, I have to leave you for a while. I am going on a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage means that he is going on like a religious trip where he might see a lot of temples or he might do meditation in lots of different places. The Guru says, Remember all that I have taught you and above all, lead a simple life. And then the student bows down to him. He does namaskaram and says, I will Gurudev. And the Guru left. One morning, as usual, the ascetic washed his spare loincloth and hung it out to dry. So then he's thinking, I will now go to the village to beg for alms. So alms means that he would um, beg for food. That's what all ascetics would do. Part of their practice is they should not know where their next meal is coming from. And so every day they would go out and they would try to get just enough food to last them for that day. No more. And usually people were nice enough and kind enough to give them what they needed. So there he is receiving that food and he's saying to this lady, may God bless you for your kindness. Later, when the ascetic returned to his hut, he's seeing a, mice, a mouse run off with something and he says, hey, that looks like a piece of my loincloth. It is, the rats have torn it to shreds. I will have to beg for another. So the next day at the village, he's going begging for alms and then he says, mother, I need a loincloth. Can you spare me one? And she says, a loincloth? Meanwhile, you can see over there in the corner, her husband there is watching. The ascetic says, the rats got at mine and tore it up. I need another. And the man says, I have a new one. I'll give it to you. The man went in and came back with it. And he says, here you are, holy sage. The next morning, there he goes. Today, I'll hang my cloth high up here on the roof, he's thinking. But that afternoon, oh no, the rats have torn up this one too. I'll have to get myself a cat. So the ascetic got himself a cat and soon the rats stopped troubling him. But he's thinking, I must keep my cat well fed. I know what, I'll get myself a cow. And so he got himself a cow. And then he's thinking, 
My cat has as much milk as it needs and more. Hmm, but I need straw to feed my cow. How shall I go about getting that? I could cultivate the land around my hut, and when the grain is harvested, I'll have all the straw my cow would need. Do you see what's happening here? The Aztec is only supposed to have a small place to live for shelter and one loincloth and that's it, the most basic needs in his life. But now he's starting to accumulate a lot of stuff. Accordingly, the Aztec began to till the land around his hut. Soon, he's thinking, what a fine crop I have harvested. The straw my cow will have, but what shall I do with the grain? I'll need a barn to store it in. <laughs> so the Aztec hired laborers to build barns for him. And so there's this guy standing on the ladder and he's asking, sir, is this all right? And the Aztec said, no, no, make it taller. There's plenty of grain to be stored. Did you see one word? Barns, not just one. He's building a lot of barns for all the grain that he has. So he's going to be quite rich soon. And here we go. The Aztec had now become a landlord, kind of without even trying. Do you notice some things in the background there? So he has somebody who's doing planting some things for him right there. He not only has one cow, he's got three of them in that stable there. He has another guy holding an umbrella for him. He has a huge house, wow. And now he's thinking, I need a wife to help me manage all this. I think I will marry. That's the last thing an Aztec or a Sanyasi should be doing. If he does that, he is no longer a Sanyasi. But I mean, I think that already happened. He's forgotten about all of that already. And we were right, no more Sanyasi life for him. The cat has had some kittens. There's a newborn baby there. There's a toddler there. There's his beautiful wife. There's his luxurious bedroom. Wow, he's got everything going now. But then, one fine day, the Guru returned from his pilgrimage. And he's confused. Am, am I on the right road? Where is my disciple's little hut? Has some rich man driven my poor disciple away and built his estate here? When a servant came out of the house, the Guru went up to him. My good man, says the Guru, an, an Aztec used to live here once. Do you know where he is now? And there's the servant uh, not knowing what to say. Uh, er, uh, he Just then, the servant's master himself came out. My Lord, you! He rushed forward and fell at his Guru's feet. The Guru is super confused. My son, what is all this? I left you leading the simple life of an Aztec. I've returned to find you surrounded by wealth and possessions. How did this happen? And he says, oh, Gurudev, it all began with a single loincloth. <laughs> Can you imagine all this from underwear? To protect it from the rats, I needed a cat. And then there was no end to my needs. Forgive me, Gurudev. So this is the end of this story. So tell me, is this story saying that having lots of stuff is bad? Is it bad to have a house and children and someone to spend your life with and pets? Are those things bad? No. I think what the story is saying is that this guy, the Aztec, committed himself to one life. But as soon as his guru left, he was totally taken off the path. His mind did not concentrate on the goal that he had set out for himself. And then he got distracted. So then I think what the story is saying is, don't get distracted. If you want to go to the Olympics and be an athlete, keep your mind on that. If you want to study hard and become a doctor or something, keep your mind on that. Just don't go off the path. But you know the other thing? I don't know if this guy ever wanted to be an Aztec in the first place. I think he wanted this life. 
So the other thing is you should be honest to yourself about what it is you want. So this was a, a fun little story all about underwear. <laughs> I hope you had a great time today on Indian Story Read Along. If you like the story, think about subscribing to our channel. We will see you again next time.